We're back at Aquatics Galore. You guys know we're Red Sea dealers. We are Red Sea everything. We love Red Sea. Their aquariums are great. The lights that, you know, they used to use AI. They decided to go away from AI because that was most of their complaints. Their lights are awesome. Hooked up to the Reef Beat app. We've loved the new skimmer they came out with. And then they decided that they needed their own pumps too. So with their pumps, they don't come with a control system. The skimmers did, and they still will, but now you can get standalone skimmers that don't come with the control. So I guess they still have the pump, but you can get them with or without the control for the pump. Nice thing now is if you buy a pump, you can buy a control. And then if you need a skim at a skimmer later, you can buy a skimmer that doesn't have the control because you don't need to pay extra for a control because you have an extra control on here. We were kind of confused at first on why not just have everything with the control. But if you buy the pump and the control, you're still gonna be competitive with the other DC pumps out there that are app controlled or controlled with a controller manually. But now when you get a skimmer, now you can save some money and just get a skimmer without the controller because now you have an extra. So it makes it cost effective when you're hooking up multiple things to not need a separate controller for each thing. So we do really like that. I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like. And it'll be easier to use my knife to do that. And where we're doing this install, the old skimmer they had is actually Red Sea. We should probably uh, do a video of that and pull up the old style versus the new style. Hey, Mike, you want to take a second and actually go get that skimmer over there? So this is the controller. We're going to go through it real quick, and then we're going to compare the old skimmer to the new skimmer, really. It uh, be a pretty funny comparison, actually. So this is a Berlin Red Sea skimmer. Um, boy, they used to make them beautiful. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna compare how beautiful this is to how sexy this new one is. <laughs> All right, guys. Absolutely love this controller. And kind of like the Neptune, it has a plate that you can mount and then slide the remote on it to uh, have the controller wherever you want and still be able to pop it off and not be tied down to your stand, cabinet, wherever you mount that. Um, Double-sided tape if you don't want to mount it, but I strongly suggest mounting it. And then instructions on how to hook it up, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You've got your ports down here for your power, and then your port for control one and control two. So one will go to your pump, the other will go to your skimmer. Some people have got multiple pumps. Um, you know, if you wanted a pump for your aquarium and then a pump for your UV sterilizer, you can get one of these and do it that way as well. And they do have these nice little caps to keep them uh, protected. If you're only hooking up one, you can keep the cap on two if you'd like. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the pump that's going to hook up to that. They have a 5,500, a 7,000, and a 9,000. This is the 7,000 because that's what's rated for the aqua UV that we're going to be hooking it up to. Oh, wow. This has a little bit more security than I was expecting. It's taped on all four sides. Man, this thing is heavy too. This pump has some weight to it. You got your control manual. A lot of styrofoam for protection. A nice weighted pump. Your plumbing accessories. Your power cord and ballast. A box. We're going to have to check out see what's inside of that. And then feet. This is the feet that go on the bottom of it. I like that they're red. Give it some... Uh, character ah. so this is an extension cable in case if what it comes with just isn't long enough 
I know some of you men out there need those extensions. This comes with it. Not appropriate? Too bad. All right, so <laughs> we're going to go ahead and look at the top of this pump and go over how to plumb it. So gasket, you want to make sure you get that on there. And then you can either set it up for a hose bar, which is this fitting here goes inside of your cap like that and then there's a little insert here where your gasket goes you want to make sure you get your gasket in there you can plug that on and then thread on for hose barb that's if you're running a hose which this is going to be running a hose to our aqua uv but if you're running one inch or three quarter plumbing you can hook either one of those up with the gasket and just glue in your pipe either one inch or three quarter. For our application, we're gonna keep the seal in this hose barb fitting, get it threaded on here, and then stab on our plumbing for the hose barb. And this is going to stab right into, we're gonna, we're gonna control this on control one, These go together here. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And this will plug into here. Ah, so we need the extension. All right, guys, I needed the extension. Don't tell nobody. All right. So, what's nice is they are different fittings, so you're not going to plug the wrong one in to the wrong place. So, this is where we stab in our power adapter, and then we're going to hook up. To the pump and then we're going to stab into our controller and then we're going to set that aside and open up the skimmer actually might as well put the feet on here first that way when we are ready that process is done i really love these multi-point skimmer feet here. These are going to make sure this pump is nice and quiet for you. It operates very quiet, but if you don't put rubber feet on the bottom, spin that one back around. If you don't put rubber feet on the bottom, you're going to get a lot of rattling. You're just not going to want to listen to. Ah, so this is obviously porting out the side, which is pretty silly. So we are going to Switch the orientation of that. There's your Venturi. We're going to switch the orientation of that to straight up. Hmm. So, this doesn't thread on or anything. You just move that wherever you want, and then this sleeve. It has these teeth that lock behind here, just like that, and then these teeth that hold on the face. Really nice design. Lock that back in, and we just spin that guy wherever we want it. So we'll have it in top orientation. Alright, now we have the skimmer. This is the skimmer without the controller, so they all come with the pump, but the other one's uh, $60 more, and it comes with a single controller. 
Nice thing about this is we can have one controller that controls the skimmer and the return pump. This is a fun assembly, guys. And when I say fun, you might not think it's so fun. But if you've done it before, it's really not that bad. So watch the video before you install it. That way you don't end up with as many problems and you're not taking it apart and redoing it again. And hopefully I'm not either. So it came with a box separate that had the pump in it. And then everything else is inside of here. Get it all opened up and then start the assembly process. Got to get it all out in view here. All this trash out of the way. One thing we really like about this skimmer that they integrated is in the cap. It spins here to clean it. The orientation on this does matter. The pump snaps inside of here. This screws onto the top of it, and then you hook up your hoses. But we're actually gonna save that for another video. So let's go ahead and do one more comparison here. Old skimmer to new skimmer. Go ahead and get all this packaging out of the way here. Alright guys, so this is obviously external pump. This is going to be an internal pump. This is an on-off. You plug it in and it's on. You unplug it and it's off. This one is DC powered so you can control how much power it goes to. So you're not having to fiddle with it as much. There is still a control here where you can determine how much water is escaping or how much water is coming in to figure out what level you want it in the cap, which is really nice. But to dial it in just flawless, it is nice to be able to control the amount of power going to the return pump. So go ahead and uh, hit the like button. Continue to follow. Let us know what you think if you have the skimmer or uh, what you think about the skimmer you currently have, and if you're looking to upgrade to the skimmer. If you're looking to upgrade to the skimmer, stop into the store, because we do stop them, uh, stock them, and we can go over all the different options. If you guys want to see how this is assembled, keep watching, and that's going to be another video. Thanks.